Hi there, and welcome to my Wheel Throne Pottery Series. Now today we're going to take our wedged or kneaded clay and actually fix it to the wheel, as close to the centre of the wheel as we can. Now I've got a small bowl here which I'm going to use to represent the clay. And what we're aiming for is to get the clay as close to the centre of the wheel as we possibly can. Now if I'm using these uh, guidelines around the wheel head, I can push this bowl into what I think is approximately the centre of my wheel. Now I can check that. If I run the wheel very slowly, I'm just using my finger here, you'll see that the distance between my finger and the edge of the bowl remains pretty much the same. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's close enough. Now, if I were to put my hands around that when I do the coning, you'll see that my hands will stay pretty much in position and they won't be moving all over the place. And that's what we're looking for. Now, if I move this bowl out from the center of the wheel, and obviously this is an exaggeration, as I rotate it, you'll see it acts a bit like a satellite around the, the centre of the wheel there. And if I put my hands around it now, you'll see they're really all over the place, and the coning or centering like that would be very difficult indeed. So, we want to fix the clay to the wheel. And it's a little bit like the story of the, the three bears. Now this wheel at the moment, is way too dry and if we try and fix the clay to that it's just going to slide off. Now this wheel is way too wet and again if we try and fix this clay onto that wheel it will just slide off. So what we're looking for is the wheel that is just right. Uh, we want a wheel that's just slightly damp, a bit like that. So we take our wedged or kneaded clay and I would suggest you use around about 500 grams of clay to start with. It's big enough for you to be able to centre it and uh, cone it easily, but not too big that it'll get out of hand. So I'll place that on the wheel just lightly to start with and you can rotate this around just to give you some idea of how well you've done and just hold your finger there and you'll see that it's pretty close I mean obviously it's touching in a couple of places but the clay isn't completely round so that's quite close to the center so now we want to fix the clay actually to the wheel how do we do that well we just give it a couple of taps on the top and that will hold it fairly securely. Uh, obviously if you don't tap it hard enough it won't be fixed to the wheel and if you tap it too hard you don't want to distort it too much that you, you really put it out of centre so that's just really a matter of practice. The other thing that you may like to do is just fix the bottom of the clay down, just push it down onto the wheel. Now, the reason for that is, I mean, it will help the adhesion of the clay, but the, the real reason is to stop any water getting in underneath the clay when you come to cone it or center it. Um, the water will tend to release the clay from the wheel. So just do that, just run your finger around just to smooth it off a bit. And then, if you're not happy with the position just just put your hands around and just move it into what you think is going to be to make, make life as easy as you can for the next stage and then run it again and just have a just have a look and again that's probably as close as you're going to get with a, a rough piece of clay so that's it really uh, the clay's fixed the wheel and we're next ready for the next process. Thanks for watching.